Welcome back everyone. First alert weather days tomorrow and into Friday tracking a Colorado low that will be moving up into the northern plains impacting our south and eastern most counties. Also some travel impacts and icy roads. Some of us tonight are already starting to see some wintry weather, especially out to the north and west. Meanwhile, in Minnesota, talked briefly about this here before the break, but not all of what you see is reaching the ground. And during the break here, I did look at numerous DOT cameras and reports not seeing evidence that much of that, if any, is making it to the ground. However, just to the north and west right here. This is making it to the ground, causing some already slick roads. Temperatures regionally have been warmest in Minnesota this afternoon and into this evening. It's 41 right now in Wadena, 37 in Bemidji, Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls, 36 here in Fargo. Meanwhile, it's 29 Grand Forks, 25 Devils Lake and Langdon, 37 Jamestown and Oaks. Here's what you need to know for tonight. So we're going to continue to see that spotty wintry mix through portions of Minnesota. Might see a little bit of isolated wintry mix make it to the ground, but more notably, is that snow that's currently out to the west. That'll be moving from the west to the east across the northern valley in uh, no uh, northeastern North Dakota and far northern Minnesota by late tonight. So by the time you're tuning back in tonight for Valley News Live at 10, we'll see some snow actually making it to the ground and a bit more wind as well out of the north and east. That's going to continue to create additional blowing and drifting snow and icy patches on the roadways. That snow continues and kind of fades away by the early morning hours tomorrow, but the wind is going to stay with us. In fact, it's going to become quite strong through the early morning hours, gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour, leading to blowing snow, even though snow may not be falling for everyone. And that blowing snow sticks to our roadways and creates patches of ice. Then by tomorrow morning, here comes the Colorado low, bringing snow mostly to the south and to the east with the greatest impacts for snowfall accumulation. But again, the wind is going to be a problem for all of us through the day on Thursday. By the afternoon and evening, that snow exits, the wind hangs around, temperatures will be falling through the day, so the warmest conditions likely uh, in the morning and falling into the teens by the afternoon. Snowfall by tomorrow morning from tonight's round of snow. You can see a little batch there of one to three inch accumulation potential. Isolated higher amounts are possible. Might see pockets of four to five inches of snow. The lighter blue here south, a trace to two inches. Then comes the uh, Colorado low. Here's a track and timing of it. There goes Wednesday's snow right behind it comes the Colorado low from the southwest tracking to the north and east, bringing that light snow potential again to the south and eastern most parts of our viewing area exiting and then a brief break from the snowfall into Friday morning, but we're not quite done yet. We're going to see some wraparound precipitation, so another shot of snow on the back side of the low into Friday afternoon and evening, primarily through the Central Valley and northwestern Minnesota, and it comes again with more wind out of the north and west, blowing and drifting another concern, creating icy roadways. Here's the snowfall potential for tomorrow, not including tonight, so so snow. So tomorrow evening, one to three in the lightest shade of blue. There three to six in the medium blue. Most of the snow is going to be out east in eastern Minnesota by Friday night. You can see the accumulation kind of piles on in parts of Minnesota as we see that wraparound moisture and then some flakes way out east may linger into Saturday morning. So here's your planning forecast. First alert weather days tomorrow and Friday. Still a little breezy on Saturday. Could still see some blowing snow. Stacy, the first day of spring comes on Monday, but look at that. We're tracking more wintry weather next week. When do you think our first day of spring will actually be like? Next month, <laughs> the month after. I don't want people to get mad at me if I get it all wrong. <laughs> I guess we never know. Yeah, not soon enough. Not Thanks, soon Summer. Enough. Well, you can give your input on a major reconstruction project in South Fargo. We'll have those details next here at 6.